students and I am back. I am Sarim Khan studying 5th standard and today welcome back to SK Wonder Kids my channel and today we have okay conservative and non-conservative forces from the chapter work energy and power. This chapter as we know that I have taken from mechanics volume 1st of the series understanding physics by DC Pandey. So as we know it already many videos I have made based on work energy and power. So let me tell you that in today's video is based over conservative and non-conservative forces about what is conservative force and what is non-conservative force okay so this is our today's topic so let us start from conservative force okay so here we'll start from conservative force okay then here conservative force we can write conservative force okay now the question arises that what is conservative force this question we have now okay this question now we have to answer this question then for an explaining to you conservative force let me draw a diagram just like such diagram we may have okay imagine we have such a diagram now imagine here okay now here a uh, line is such now here what we can see imagine that work are happening some work work are happening in this diagram okay in this path so imagine here w1 happens here w2 happens and here w3 happens and along the those paths now if work done at first okay work done at first is equals to that work done at second is equals to that of work done of third so if such case we have that w1 equals to w2 equals to w3 then we can call that the force acting in such a situation is a conservative force but it is not sure that if w1 equals to w2 equals to w3 then the force acting in such situation is conservative force there is once more condition that is that the total work done okay total work done equals to zero this is the second uh, condition this is first condition and this is the second condition okay but w in total okay remember total work done okay but how total work done if we just like if we take this as origin or reference point if we start from here okay later go up to here later return same place now which work will be done okay now how much total work will be done okay due to the forces which will be acting here now whatever work, work will be done this uh, displacement may be traveled so if we make a long uh, if we make a path okay whole total path of the total diagram total path then if that is equals to zero the, okay total work done equals to zero in that case then we can call that the force acting in such a situation is a conservative force okay so the first condition is that all work done should be equal in the given diagram and second condition is that the w total or the total work done should be equals to zero this is our second condition now but what about the non-conservative forces this we have now then a question arises that what are non-conservative forces okay so now let us reply out this question about what are non-conservative forces so let me write it here non-conservative forces now question arises what are non-conservative forces so let me tell you that same diagram just take okay same diagram imagine this w1 and w2 and w3 imagine those all three work done are not equal they're unequal means what we can write w1 unequals to w2 unequals to w3 such we can write okay this is first condition now second condition imagine that if we make a straight path and the total okay the total work done for that straight path okay for the total path in this given diagram if the total work done value is not zero imagine that the total work done value is not zero okay second condition this is the second condition not equals to zero then the force acting in such a situation is non-conservative force why non-conservative force just like let me tell you that conservative forces and non-conservative forces are just opposite terms in conservative forces okay all work done in the given diagram are equal and second condition w in total is zero but while non-conservative force is just opposite to conservative force where all works 
ones are unequal okay here they were equal here unequal and the Dublin total is not equals to zero here it is equals to zero and here it is not equals to zero so this is non-conservative forces now we may take some examples for them so the example for conservative forces okay example for conservative force is gravitational force let me inform you it is gravi gravitational gravitational force okay gravitational force is a conservative force later electrostatic force let us take electrostatic force okay electrostatic force is also a conservative force okay two examples are in of gravitational force and electrostatic force this is now what are examples of non-conservative forces okay it is very easy that example for non-conservative forces simply friction we can call okay friction is the example of non-conservative force because when in friction we can see that in whichever situation friction acts that then what we can see that w in total is not equals to zero and all work done in the given diagram in the given path are unequal this is why friction is also a kind of non-conservative force okay so this was my today's topic thank you